Adam Kennedy, this is your second year in the AFL system. Uh, how have you found the preseason? Uh, it's been pretty solid. Yeah, um, the, a lot of the boys have been out in the park for most of it, and uh, you know, I feel like we've come a long way since last preseason. So I think all the boys are pretty excited to get into the games and NAB Cup, and um, yeah, just see how far we've come and yeah, have a real crack at it this year. Who's been the standout in the track so far? Oh, there's a few boys that have been going well. I think. Um, Tom Scully is uh, he's, he's actually built his body up a little bit more and running well. And, um, he's just been announced vice captain, so things are going pretty well for him. Um, Johnny Patton looks really good. Yep. Uh, he's over his injury concerns from last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, all good. So um, he's been he's trained pretty much all summer. So um, that'll do him a lot of good. And yeah, I think all the boys are sort of looking, looking forward to seeing him out there. Yep. You know, with a fit body. So yep. It's good. Now, of the Giants, would there be anybody you'd consider playing in your dream team this year? Um, yeah, there are a few. Um, There's some awkward prices in there. A lot of you yeah, sort of are. the 300 to 400 grand. See, I haven't actually studied the, uh, the prices and such this year. I'm, ge I'm guessing Toby Green will be pretty high. Yeah, he's uh, about yeah. 480 Yeah, see, so it's all, it's all about the value. Like, you know he'll, he'll rack him up. That's what he does. He's been doing that training all summer. <laughs> so um, He rates himself. Yeah, he does. He does. I think uh, he uh, tries to kick all the nibble. Yep. So I don't know if that's that a dream team thing or... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I've got a few question marks over over where he's at. Yep. So. And what about the young fellas? Any of them that you consider? Um, yeah. You said Patton is still fairly cheap. Is uh, about he is. the same price as he was starting last year. So. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's there's a pretty good hint for the dream uh, team for now. So uh, John Patton, uh, he's looking really good. Uh, for the new boys have just come to the club. Uh, I think they'll be good. Get a few games under his belt. So you know, might get a few early ones and then bump up the price and then. Ditch him. Yep. Profit. Yep. And what about yourself? Why don't you tell the folks back home why they should be picking you and their dream team? Or why they should be staying alive? Well, last year I got, a, I got a few touches early. I don't know if that was just because I was in the back line and yep. was down there a little bit. But, um, and then I, I dropped off a bit during the year and I actually had a, you know, a, few, a few friends of family come up to me and you know, ask me the questions, what's going on. Whether they should trade you out themselves. Yeah, yeah so over the pre-season I really concentrated on kicking the ball, yep. tackles, yep. Um, efficient football, not turning it over. Um, yeah, so I don't know, maybe maybe give me a crack, but don't put too much pressure on me. Maybe on the bench. Yep, too easy to I'm here with Toby Green of the GWS Giants, uh, number one breakout player for our rookies last season. Toby, uh, how's the preseason been this year? Yeah, it's been really good. I'm enjoying it. The boys are a lot fitter and stronger, faster than last year. So hopefully, yeah, it puts us in good speed for the season. And you've got a couple of new fellas. You've got Kristen Jacks, you've got uh, Rocky Blaum, and you've got uh, Joe Walk and um, uh, uh, who's standing out of those three guys? Is anybody keeping up or is it better? No, I think we're uh, no real standout at the moment. I think we're all just sort of being eased into it at the moment. Um, it's been a pretty hard pre-season, so pretty hard for us to step straight into it. But uh, they're all looking really good. Rocky was really good at training the other day. They're all doing good things. We're all playing a sort of different position, so that helps as well. And the team's open up good for next year. We've got the new recruits as well as the new How do you see the team shaping as far as game plan? It's going to be similar last year with the leading uh, I'm not sure at the moment, but um, we obviously have a really good performance and it's really hard to uh, so set up and coming in with tall experienced players is going to help us in the back of us. Now do you, do you play green fingers? Uh, last year was the first year I didn't do it, so yeah. I did do it. And is that because you don't want to go pick it yourself? Or is that just no, no, I just never got around to it. It's, yeah. it's always fun from school, for the night. So. So who's usually your first pick? Probably Swanee, I reckon. Yep. It's a game that we can go You reckon you'll have, have, have a job on him this year? Or we see your role? It'd be interesting if I did. I'm a superstar at home, so I'd love to do it right And um, for the folks that own your price, it's sort of uh, high 400s, 400,000 for picking your dream team. Do you want to tell them why they should be picking you this year? Yeah. Uh, I think I'll be over the price there. But, um, uh, hopefully, hopefully John's going to be better this year, so it's made us try and contribute a bit more, so we'll uh, do that each year. Great. Uh,
Uh, Christian Jack, uh, how do you pronounce your name? Jax. Jax. Just, it looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. Lot. Okay, no worries. Uh, you'll pick number 12, 12 for the yep. GWS Giants this year. Uh, settling the breakfast point, how's the pre-season treating you? Yeah, it's pretty tough going from under 18s footy where you're training twice a week for a couple of hours into, a, into an AFL program where you're on five days a week. So after the initial first three or four weeks where it was a bit of a shock to the system, I feel like I'm settling in really well. And, I'm enjoying the, uh, the program so far and looking forward to getting into a, a bit of game, game practice in the next couple of weeks. Yep, uh, so the body's holding up well, you're looking forward to the NAB? Yeah, absolutely, the body's alright, uh, a few niggles here and there, but that's to be expected, you never really play 100% yep. in footy, so hopefully get the opportunity to nab cut with a few of the other new boys and push myself into the side, for hopefully for round one against the Swans. Yep, uh, so there's a few new boys at the Giants, including yep. a couple of old fellas in uh, Thornton and Gillum. Yep. Uh, Who's the standout of the boys who haven't been around, the ones who've come in with you? Has there been anybody particularly burning off the rest? Or? Oh, not particularly. Lockie Whitfield, obviously, being the number one draft pick, stands out. He's a lead endurance, came second in our 3K time trial recently. So yep. he's, uh, he's caught a few people off guard and he's training really well. But some of the second year guys have really kicked on. Guys like Devin Smith and Dylan Shield, who, yep. who are starting to dominate, coming off some pretty successful seasons last year. So. Yep. There's definitely going to be a bit more competition for spots coming yep. into the next couple of years, which is which is good to see. And Dylan looks like he's sort of over his foot trouble. Or? Yeah, no, they still haunt him a little bit. He's, he's a pretty uh, diligent kind of guy, so he'll do everything right in terms of recovery and stuff. But he's put on a few kilos in the gym and, and worked real hard aerobically, so I'm sure he'll do some scary things to opposition sites yep. this year. Wonderful. Now, AFL Dream Team, you've played in the past. I have. Are you thinking about playing this year? I am thinking about it, although my last Dream Team actually was relatively unsuccessful. So, yep. yeah, knowing a bit more about the game this year, I think I might have a crack at it. Yep. And are there any Giants players you would consider? Um, I think having a pretty new side, you would definitely consider some Giants players that would come in a bargain. So, yep. those guys that I mentioned earlier, like Dev Smith and Dylan Shield. They're only second year players, so no one's going to expect really massive things from this year, but they'll be bargain picks. So, and obviously I've trained with them, so I know what these guys are capable of, so yep. I would absolutely consider putting some of those boys in my team. And one of the names who has been thrown around by some of the other guys is Tom Scully. Apparently he is looking yep. amazing on the track. He is. He is um, burning up uh, muscle left, right and centre. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's an underpriced premium. He didn't go too well last year because he had a run with roll. Do you think that is a chance for your dream team? Or? Absolutely, 100%. Seeing some of the stuff he's capable of at the club, we all come in after our training sessions and look at the GPS stuff and we're all astounded at how hard Tom's working. So I'm sure for those that have seen Tom, he's looking really lean this time of year. He's fitter than he's ever been and I'm sure that uh, he'll do some scary stuff again next year and, and if I was going to do dream team, which I think I will, he'll be in there 100%. Okay. Now, there'll be people at home considering you for their dream team. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can swing forward and defence. So. Why don't you tell them why they should pick you? Uh, well, as I said earlier, I reckon I'd be a bit of a bargain. No one knows what we're all capable of yet in the first year players. So I think mean, I come in, play my role, and if it's not working well at either end, I'll go to the other end. So put me in there, and I promise I'll try not to let you down. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Thanks. I'm here with uh, number one draft pick, Lockie Whitfield. Uh, here to talk AFL Dream Team. Lockie, do you play yourself? No, I wouldn't play myself, but um, I've got some boys in the top. I've got some boys For instance, Adam Kennedy showed over there, if you want to take it that way. But, uh, he does well off the half bank, just, just does those uh, short 45 kicks just to make sure that his targets go efficient. But, yeah, all for the super coach, 10 points. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to put it back. Just because of the mic? Yeah, right. uh, now, how's the pre-season treating you? You uh, didn't start until, what was it, December? Yeah, well, we got drafted on the November 22nd, so we moved up a few days after that, and yeah, it was still late November or December that we got started. Uh, probably had four weeks into training, and then went home for Christmas break over two weeks, and now it's a third week back getting yeah, well stuck into it, running hard. And, yep. Yeah, the intensity and duration of training getting longer to try and simulate like match play, so yeah, it's, it's getting tough. How are you finding it? Yeah, loving it. Just uh, often just sitting on, sitting on the wing in the match simulation drill, so yep. yeah, it's really good fun just yeah. getting involved, getting a touch. Yep. So, who would you pick? If you're not going to pick yourself, who would you pick? Is your number one pick this year? In the Giants team? Or, uh, let's go both. Let's go both. Uh, pick. 
Tom Scully from the Giants. Yep, you reckon he's going to break out this year a bit? Oh, yeah, he's smashing so you uh, uh, not being up. Like, uh, my standout on the I like the new reception. Did you ever go past Gary Ablin? Gary Ablin? Did you ever go past him? Well, I believe Toby Green said Dane Swan, so I guess it's a bit of a bit of a He's your lock-in captain, right, Gary Ablin? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What about outside of the Giants, other young players who you know have come up and been drafted? Yeah. Do you know of any young guys in other clubs who we should be keeping our eye on? Yeah, yeah, well, um, I think Oliver Wines, who went in the top 10 to Port Adelaide, I think uh, he's going to play a lot of games this year. So okay. Very well, well built young man, and um, Safari, oh, I don't know, very well of playing uh, in a big country with him, so yeah, I think he'll play all league games and you know, rack up the points, and also Jimmy Timbers from Melbourne, um, in a club that will probably play younger players, he's uh, yeah, a real class player. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.